Hi everyone, Crafty Lori here, and I'm here to give you creative inspiration. And for today, I'm going to make a quick Christmas card, and I'm using the super cute stamp set from Little Acres Creations, and it's called From the Pack. And uh, this isn't a Christmas stamp set per se, but I am going to use it to make a Christmas card. So, I'm going to start with the dogs, uh, just this pack of dogs right here. And I am doing this on the fly. I have not really planned this. I have a vision in my head and we'll see if it turns out. And here's the d dogs right here and I'm just going to put them on this scrap piece of paper because I'm going to cut out the dogs. So I don't need a good piece. And then I'll be using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I will be using alcohol markers to color the cute dogs. They're perfect. I don't even have to do it again. And there's one, two, three, four, there's five dogs here and I am going to uh, try to color them all different colors. So you can tell them apart. And for, I'm going to start with the poodle. These are so cute. And I'm going to make the, the poodle uh, white. So that means I'm just going to outline the poodle. And I'm going to be using a variety of alcohol markers. I'll be using Copix. Spectrum Noir and the Stampin' Up blends. And the cardstock I'm using is Georgia Pacific cardstock, and that is from Walmart. And when you're coloring with alcohol markers, your cardstock makes all the difference, and this is usually what I use the Georgia Pacific cardstock from Walmart. And I just colored his collar and tag with some glitter gel pens and now this is ready to cut out on my scan and cut too. And this is a piece
piece of cardstock. It's four inches by five and a quarter, and it's embossed with some Christmas trees. And that is from a Cuddlebug embossing folder. And I want to make a banner. And the banner I want to make will be this um, stitched banner. And that is from Newton's Nook uh, Designs. And it's their perfect dies. And this one is uh, frames and flags die. But I'm going to use this one. But I need this one because it's not an outline. It's a solid die. So I need to know where to cut. So I printed out jingle bells from my computer. And I'm going to make this smaller so I can run it through my die machine. I'm just going to quick cut it. And then I took this banner die. I took this banner die and I ran it through on some scrap paper. Now I want the jingle bells over here because I'm going to stamp the um, music notes over here. So I have, I have it right there. And I'm just going to take uh, some washi to hold it in place. And then for the die, I'm going to set it in there and it's going to be like a puzzle piece. I can feel when it's in there uh, perfect. And that's in there perfect. So now I'm going to take some more washi and I'm going to tape this die down. And then I'm going to run this through my Big Shot and it will cut out uh, exactly where I want it to cut out. And there it is. It cut out exactly where I wanted it to cut out. And now I want to stamp uh, the music notes. These little guys right here. And there's my banner. And here it is all cut out. It's cut out perfect. And I want a shadow spot, so I'm going, going to use uh, the shadow spots from My Favorite Things. And I used um, this long skinny one. I'm going to use this long skinny one, and I cut it out in gray. And this is an A2 size card base. It's the same uh, card stock I used to color the puppies. Now, to assemble this card, I'm just going to use... Um, my Tombow tape runner, this is the dotted tape runner, it's my favorite, it's basically all I use. I'm just going to glue all of this together. And for the banner, I am going to use um, some foam tape because I just want to add a little bit of dimension. And that is the front of my card. And then for the inside of the card, I am going to use, I am going to use uh, Merry Christmas from the Bold Greeting stamp set. And again, that's from Little Acres Creations, my Lawn Fawn stitched recta rectangle die. And I'll cut out this rectangle and then I will stamp Merry Christmas onto that. And that completes my Christmas card. Just, it's simple, it's quick, and it's super easy, and it looks great. I would love getting this card for Christmas. And this is the newest stamp set, the December release, the pack uh, from Little Acres Creations that I used to make this cute Christmas card from. And I also used bold greetings for the inside of the card.
Be sure to check out the links down below for Shell's uh, stamp store, Little Acres Creations, and also for her YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I've made it easy for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click on my avatar or my profile picture in the upper right hand corner and be sure to click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.